What's going on YouTube? GS Noir here. So in today's video, I come with even more great news for those of you interested in jailbreaking iOS 12. So a new exploit for the WebKit has been released. And of course, this one targets even iOS 12.1.1. Now, if you watched my previous video, you know that iOS 12.1.1 has been released and it also patches a very important kernel bug that is present on iOS 12.1 and lower and has been discovered by Ian Beer. Now, you probably know that Ian Beer's exploits have been used in the past two years to build all the jailbreaks that have been created for the iOS 10, for the iOS 11, and of course, most likely for the iOS 12 in the future. Now, that is great, but I said in that video that for iOS 12.1.1, which has just been released, there is absolutely no vulnerability available. And boy, did I was wrong because a new vulnerability has been released by Lanus Henze in here. I really hope that I pronounced that correctly. And it's a WebKit exploit. And this is pretty much the WebKit, the component that is the entire core behind the Safari browser, which is pretty much used in the iOS, which is a mobile Safari, and also only Mac OS. And the developer says in here, quote, this is currently only patched in the WebKit sources. Just to clarify this, yes, it still works on 12.1.1, .1, meaning every iOS version since iOS 12.0 is vulnerable. There is currently no iOS 12.x version that is not vulnerable. So this is actually very, very important. Now with WebKit exploits and WebKit vulnerabilities, we can pretty much make a jailbreak that is normally semi-untethered and you need an IPA file for that to pretty much be usable directly from Safari and this has been added before. Now you probably remember the Meridian jailbreak. Just a few months ago some developers have decided to port the Meridian jailbreak and other iOS 10.x jailbreaks into one Safari based jailbreak that you can pretty much access and use by going to a specific website and pretty much sliding or pressing a button and your phone will be jailbroken just like on the good old days of the Safari exploits like, I don't know, Star, Safran and so on. You probably remember the Jailbreak Me websites. So yeah, this would be very, very interesting. And although this cannot be used for a Jailbreak as it is, it can be used as a component into a Jailbreak and it can transform, if used properly, a Jailbreak, you know, a normal Jailbreak with IPA into a Jailbreak that is pretty much triggered from Safari. Now, yes, definitely, this is not a jailbreak and of course it requires a kernel exploit to be chained with it and even more exploits or patches to be applied in order to create a proper jailbreak. However, once created or once adapted, this one will be triggerable from a WebKit context, which is pretty much Safari. So you would pretty much be able to jailbreak from Safari. Now imagine a jailbreak for iOS 12 that you can use from Safari without having to worry about signing every seven days or about IPA files or about, I don't know, Tweakbox, App Valley, and so on. Because you wouldn't have to worry about revokes and about installing VPN profiles to prevent the revokes and so on. So you got the idea. WebKit exploits are very, very good, are very useful if used properly, but they are not kernel vulnerabilities and they do require a kernel vulnerability to be chained with them in order to do anything useful. However, once a jailbreak exists, for example, we have the uncovered jailbreak, if we have a powerful enough WebKit exploit, we can use that to pretty much jumpstart the uncovered jailbreak from Safari without having to worry about, I don't know, installing IPAs or deploying it through CD Impactor or a computer and so on. So a no computer jailbreak that doesn't require signing, that doesn't require revoke prevention, definitely nice. So WebKit vulnerabilities are usually very useful in that regard. And this one is pretty much a WebKit exploit. Now, I'm not entirely sure how well can this be used in an iOS context, but as you can see here, they say, quote, prepare iOS support. So one of their goals in here in the to do, it says to be maybe even add iOS support, though it seems to be in the process of that. And since this is compatible with iOS 12.1.1, if they do update it to work on iOS properly and they do provide the code, not just the proof of concept, then we can explore the uh, vulnerability and of course see if it can be used very well into a jailbreak. But anyways, a very good WebKit exploit release and definitely useful for the community. We need all the exploits that we can find because of course jailbreaking is not an easy task. However, if you missed my video that I made yesterday about 12.1.1, go ahead and watch it. It's available in here. The link will be in the description down below. Anyways, thank you for watching guys. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geosnow and till the next time, peace out.